Hey guys, whoever's watching this. So, you know volcanoes kill people? Hmm. Well, technically, if all volcanic activity ceased right now, we would all be dead within about a thousand years. See, volcanoes renew the soil, raise mountains, and regenerate all the gases and minerals that we need to live. Take your mind back four billion years ago when your grandma was born. The earth was in constant eruption. It took millions of years for the crust to solidify. When this happened, great quantities of steam, water, and gas were injected in the atmosphere. Well, actually, no, they made the atmosphere. Then they condensed and torrential rain started for millions of years. That's basically England then. That's how the oceans were formed. And then the first unicellular organism was created on the first continent ever made called Pangaea, and it was surrounded by the ocean Panfalasas. The drifting of the tectonic plates and the volcanic activity was slowly dividing up Pangaea and changing the shape of it in a process called the continental drift. Pangaea then divided into two continents, uh, Laurasia, which is North America, Europe and Asia, and Guantanaland. Mm. which is South America, Africa, Australia, Antarctica, and India. The current features of the continent date from 65 million years ago, but the process has not finished yet. Specialists calculate that in 50 million years, North America would have detached itself from South America, and the USA would have detached itself from Lower California. Also, Africa will drift up north and completely, well, practically eliminating the Mediterranean Sea. <laughs> and Australia will keep drifting north until it connects with the Philippines. There are even people that think that in 250 million years, um, all of the continents would have cr been crushed into one ball in a new Pangaea. So coming back to volcanoes, it has proven that the tectonic plates were formed from, guess what? No, not that, that's disgusting. Volcanic activity! And most of the volcanoes on Earth are actually underwater. Which puts a new fear from the oceans in my list. That underneath sharks and my mum in a bikini. Fun fact about scaredy cats. Um, did you know that pantophobia is the fear of everything? Ah! 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 <laughs> Why? I'm sorry, I shouldn't joke about this. So yeah, please tell me if you like this, I don't know. If it was good, if it was bad, if you wanked on it. I hope not. Sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs>